Rule 5. Once a murder takes place, the class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Rule 6. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Rule 7. If the blackened is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. Rule 8. As a reward, the surviving blackened will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. Rule 9. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people have discovered a body for the first time. So it has to be three or more. Got it. Rule 10. Destroying any property on this island without permission is ex expressly prohibited. To be fair, the three or more rule is the same for the- Expressly prohibited! Same for the first game. Yes, I know. I just needed to be sure that it had to be three, that they didn't change it. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. Rule 11. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. And last rule. Additional school trip rules may be added at, as they, at the headmaster's discretion. Wish they'd use the word Guys, best. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. As I read my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Pitch, you thought. Hmm. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could discover that this was now my reality. I could believe this was my... whatever. Even so, this is undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different than my usual daily life, even though I don't remember it. School, studying exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, I mean, you school, do remember it, you train, just don't lectures. remember your time at Hope's Peak. Well, I don't remember what happened even right before that. There was just, like, as I was going to go to Hope's Peak, and anything pertaining to Hope's Peak in general has somehow been removed from my brain. I guess. Even the setup to it when I tried to look up stuff. Like, whenever I try, like, got my acceptance letter, anything, everything has been deleted. Just walking up to the door and being like, <laughs> That kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands, like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I had grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. A student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. But as I look up in the night sky, I realized, why would I want to? This is beautiful. Stay here forever, bitch. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. Like dust in the wind. And it led straight on to the first night. A night so beautiful and enchanted me. And yet my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Chapter 1 Destination Despair Daily Life Dong Bing Bing Bong Bong Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. <laughs> but if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. No, you have not. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. Okay, good to know the doors do not auto-lock. You never know who might be planning to kill you. Like actual hotel rooms do. <laughs> Bye-bye. Damn, that's ominous. <sighs> Cottage, huh? Do we have a key? Alrighty, so we should go to sleep. Mor Whatever you Morgana say, Morgana says, Morgana. go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> hey guys, guess what time it is? It's time to talk about murders.
I don't actually like the feed bob at all. Also, real quick. What? Get me. Cool. I didn't know you were a boo big boobed gymnast. I mean, definitely not a gymnast. Two chat. Damn it. As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. You know what I'm left really hard about? What? If Hajime was the first one to die and we just take over as Nagato for the rest of the game. That'd be great. <laughs> I'd laugh really hard if they just double tricked us. Making us think Usami was going to be the person and then it turned out to be Monokuma. Making us think that Hajime was going to be the main character but it turned out to be Nagato. I don't want to see anyone anymore. I just want to be alone What forever. I really want is for Haji to die and us to become Hyoko for the rest of the game. Okay, should be reminded that I don't remember. Kyoko's the little girl that you hate. No, hell no. Nah. I would rather die. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. Well, we better form a social link. The only person I could trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear the dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone. I realize there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. <laughs> a scream erupted from my mouth. As opposed to my anus. It erupted from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. <laughs> Why me? Hachi, are you drowning Why do I have to in go there? All this? <laughs> I began to lose my voice and it faded entirely, entirely not long after. What followed was silence. Thank God. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears, this is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Because the world ends with you. So I just have to end myself and the world ends. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep if only for a little short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it'd be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Did he ever lock his door is the question. Who knows? Also, did we ever get a key to his room? Who knows? So the Monokuma Theater is different. <clears throat> To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much. To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend, you are always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-throbbing action in your heart's content. Well until the very end. Please enjoy this game to the fullest. So the real talk, though. Should I just invite Justin into these calls just so he can pop in, say his lines, and then leave? <laughs> no. I just imagine, like, you go to watch these episodes, and any time I'm supposed to read off Monokuma's lines, I've had Justin just dub over for it. <laughs> really bad, like, what Chinese would you do? martial arts dub movies. Doesn't match what he's <laughs> saying at all. Ding dong, ping bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. So it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now I should go outside. No, no, no! 
You're not allowed to go so out. So Gabe, guess what? This game has collectibles. Monokuma, why are you here? No hey, now don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons? Hey, um... I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got, I got ahead of myself and made too many. Yeah. I thought it'd be a waste just to throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. Yes, you They're scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to look for something like that? Too bad. Because I said so, you can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I want you out until you find it. Well. Good luck. Damn it, that's selfish stuffed animal. I... That's not yeah, it, that right? Isn't. Why can't I? <laughs> what? I can't. I can't interact you with can't that. Click it. I... There you go. It's okay. They're, it just they're hidden. Do they're not supposed to be super easy for you to find. Obtained monocles. You get ten for each one you find. Um. Good job. Also, I I thought it would pop up when I have no. like I figured I would have to interact with an nope. item, and then it'd be like, oh, I found a I found a. No, he's just gonna be the in sheet. the the room somewhere. That's weird. I love it. Yeah. Good job. I've also left you some mana coins. I'm so generous. These coins can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> I'm just really weird at that. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too. So do your best and look for them. If you find them all, surprise! I will surprise. warn you. There are five each chapter. Mm. They go on each of those pedestals right there. But uh, a lot of times they will be in places that you can only access once per chapter. Like some of them will be in general areas and then some will be in specific areas. If you think I might miss yeah, something, there's two in this say, chapter hey, Gabe. that I'll try to keep you. Just say, hey, Gabe, take a look around the room. Don't say anything. I know, I know. Never mind. I should just go. Monokuma contacts us through these monitors. I really want to break it, but who knows what would happen if I did that. I guess I gotta leave it alone. This bed is pretty comfortable. Oh, look at that. This room has a lot of windows. They probably wanted to feel tropical and open. Well, this isn't really the time to be grateful you for that. You should check your bathroom for someone being murdered. Wow. <laughs> this is where the Monokuma plushies are placed. Putting stuff like this one here without my permission. Ugh. There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and it looks easy to use, but I've never really felt comfortable showering. Well, it's this kind of situation after pretty all. Pretty nice bathroom. Yeah, and there's also no rule about it being turned off after 10 p.m. or whatever. Yeah, at night time. Also, great improvement to this game. I can keep looking around after I press that button. Yeah. Wherever I go, there are surveillance cameras all over the place. Whoever's controlling Monokuma must be monitoring us with his cameras, too. It pisses me off to think I've been watched by a lunatic, but there's nothing I can do about it. We might be able to buy stuff from them. Um, market now. It told us how it works, so yes. Oh, hey, Soda. Uh. Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I could see the same for you. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Damn it. Ah, uh, man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh. The bridge, you know? Remember that bridge in the center island? Did something happen to it? Uh. No shit. Why the hell else would I be here? Those monsters in front of the bridges, they're totally blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters, they're mana beasts. Uh. Oh my god, it's here! <laughs> This cool. might have the Guardians of the Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. If those monsters are as gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it! Ugh, so annoying, I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip, your face is getting weird. Oh, I can't, there's no way I can get a grip. I'm just gonna get eaten by monsters, there's no way I can enjoy a vacation His here now. His eyes look like sunny side up eggs. I can see that. Hey, what's with all the noise? Also, our rooms are, you know, noise proof. So that's a thing as well. Yeah. If someone's being murdered, you can scream and get someone to help potentially. 
I'm not reading this one. <laughs> That's rude. And I came all the way here to get you both. But if you're going to call me a monster... And you're here to get us? Well, I was told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the... Hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. <laughs> I was like, is it because you walked away? <laughs> is that what you stopped? No, it's because I'm dying. Everyone is waiting at the... And just walks away talking and we can't hear anymore. Like, wait, wait. Waiting at the where? Waiting at the... Oh no. <laughs> Everyone's waiting at the restaurant? Damn it! No, whatever, man, I don't care. I don't care at all. Ah! I'm out of here! Hey, where are you going? That's what I tried saying, but Kazuchi sprinted away like lightning. Alright, good Tama. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. I shouldn't go outside right now. Everyone's at the restaurant, apparently. Yeah. Of course. I think once we do this, we can go over. I like how it sounds like we're wearing heels. <laughs> go, don't go in that way, go in the main way, because I think there are people in the room. So I'm just listening to the heels, and you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely doesn't sound like normal shoes. Clickety clackety clickety clack. Sneakers. Usually Chiaki's down here playing games. Eh, there she is. And look, it's the most relatable girl who spun in circles when I clicked on her. Huh? I thought everyone was waiting at the restaurant. Yep. I thought I'd get some gaming in until everyone else arrived. Hmm. But I guess I should get going too. Playing video games all morning, huh? She truly is the ultimate gamer. Ain't we all? Ooh, liquor. Let's get litty, kids. I don't see a monitor here. You're late, Hajime. And where's Kazuchi? I thought you were together. <clears throat> he ran off somewhere. Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... but running, but where? To drink some cola, obviously. If I find him at the market and he's just downed like half the bottles of cola, I'm gonna scream at him. <laughs> or really just... There's nowhere it. to run to anyway. What a weirdo. However, hey, yeah. after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening, even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Understand? Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. So, why have you gathered us here? Not yet. Not until Kazuchi arrives. Kazuchi. Oh. You're right, but also fuck off. Just oh, call him wait soda. a second. It was so much yeah. easier to say. Who names their kids? So, soda? I'm gonna call him Cola. Got okay. it. Okay, that's good too. Oh, wait a second. That means the reason you told us to come here is. Boing! We, apparently, Miss Yerbiakia has something to tell us. Monsieur. Monsieur. Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible! There's no way we can fight that thing. I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit! Anything is possible with a fighting spirit! Let me tell you this. A bold boast. However, let me give you some advice. Close. <laughs> the truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. It scares the animals. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, let's start talking already. So, I'm going to say this right now. Mm. Kind of really like uh, uh, Gundam Tanaka and hate Kyoko, and I feel like they wouldn't get along, considering she's a psychopath who kills small animals. I don't know. <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Please. Fine, I'll just bring Kazuichi myself then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. And then... She was murdered. Mm -hmm. 
I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Mahiru. Maybe I should run away too? Just kidding. Disgusting moron mood. That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from, anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. He spent all night cooking, didn't he? <gasps> ah, they even have crab and shrimp! Aww. Crab and shrimp are a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mekon's ugly, stuttering face. Fuck off. <laughs> My ugly, stuttering face? Gross. That's it! That's the face right there! Oh, why? Oh, why are you being so mean? <laughs> You're the kind of girl the bullies just love to torment, aren't you? Honestly, you should stop now. Oh! I got it, Terror! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I fucked up. You know. Terra Terra yeah. prepared this food, right? It's hard. So many girls talking <laughs> to each other. Unfortunately, it wasn't me. You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. <laughs> this is bad. It tastes yummy to me. No, 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 no. Just yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. To be fair, if he's really as good of a cook as everyone says he is to make him an ultimate, even, like, my cooking would be shitty compared to his. And that's fair. That's respectable to be that good. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food? How rude. Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What? What does that mean? Are you saying that he's, like, Food Wars? Jingeki no Soma or whatever? Everyone just... Well, just... Done. well, let's just say your job wouldn't be the only thing that's dropping. Okay. There's no mistaking it. <laughs> okay, I didn't figure you'd be that... Okay, in fact, your panties would drop too, like the black thong Miss Pekka was wearing for an exam. Oh. You, you creep! How did you know about that? He... Guessed correctly. Yo, Pekko a freak. I mean, I mean, to be perfectly fair, she wears all black. He may have just been hoping it was a thong. Also, if you can't see an outline on the skirt, that might be why. I mean, it's not a tight However. skirt. Well, yeah, but as you move, if he was staring at your ass all the time, he might However, have noticed. If their hair did not prepare this meal, then the one who did this. <laughs> Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Stares over at Biaka, who's already finished three meals. That's why I'm tasting it for poison, to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You hey, boy, straighten up right? a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk around like that? Oh man. Stop, don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I just want to go home already. Crash, clatter, boom. What the? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, who are we missing? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't move or anything, so I can't see who might be missing. Oh. How did. Explain, Cassie. Explain how this is possible. Keep going. J j no, no, right here. Try to, try to give me an explanation. Keep going. She lost her shoes and one of her Let's socks. I, I tripped. Can you even call that tripping? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? 
Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Please help me. Aww. She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. We, we should help her up. I love my wife. Okay? throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond just being a clumsy girl. That fall of hers is like a magic trick or something. Um, anyway, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. <clears throat> You're right. Though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. I took way too long. Alright. Yeah, so you're the people who I can see from my angle. Got it. Well, not who I meant to click on. Alright. Fiakia Togami. Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? Um, some to keep watch, or someone to just basic agreement and rules among each other? No! No, you forgot about shitting. Attention. Which means the answer is a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Didge? Bond. I... This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Gross. Wow, he said all that with a straight face? How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> Just as I figured. That was kind of lame, huh? However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us all to be suspicious of each other. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemy as inv individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. However, what we need to achieve that sol solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Uh -huh. Then what? Listen. What we need right now is the disciplined leadership, provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. I see. Even a sports team needs captains, after all. Great choice. I shall accept that position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey. Wait just a second! What? What is it? What, what did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it, you're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own, and why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I'm the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful! Wait! My hero, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our cer current circumstance, situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under these circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. Uh, that may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No. No. Perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. It's all clear now. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> oh. So reliable! It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expect the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand, for real this time. I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. 
It's a at Jabberwock Park at the Central Island. Come follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. <clears throat> Though everyone made a similar complaint, they all followed Byakuya out of the okay. restaurant. Okay, this is the point where you have to go to the, yes. the market. I, I, I got that. <laughs> you don't have to pay attention to me, just go, I'll catch up with you soon. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I can't help it. When I get hungry, I lose most of my energy. So... Whatever you say, not owie. <laughs> After she said that, Akane ate the entire pile of food on her plate in one big gulp. Snarf, snarf, glomp, om nom nom. Man, that was good. It's so fast, I doubt you even tasted it. What happened? Are you choking? Crap. Now that I've eaten a little, I'm even hungrier. So annoying. Yeah, you better finish his talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. I guess I should go for now. Hey, how are your pets doing in their eating and all that? Let's go, Jumpy! Magazi! Sandy! Champy! My four dark devils of destruction! Let us venture to the end of the earth, Jabberwock Park! There's no need to shout. Just hurry up and go already. Okay. Let's go outside. Hotel site. I better hurry and follow him after Biaka. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. Hey, man. What's up? What are you doing? You should head over to the park. Ugh. Didn't the same thing happen last time, too? How many times are you gonna surprise me? I just spoke to you normally. Anyway, you should hurry over to the park. Shut up. I'm going back to my room. Seriously, the soul and big hassle. Oh, damn it! Seriously, we're on a tropical paradise. Then why are we in a situation like this in the first okay. place? You weren't supposed to do huh? that. What? You're supposed to talk to him after you got the item. So if he leaves, then you fucked up. So see if he leaves. If he stays there, it should be fine. Isn't that right? Is this vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? Oh, I act snappy and we won't change a thing, okay? Hey. Hajime Society, you better come to the beach with me later. Huh? Oh. For coconuts, damn it! I want to show you some big ones that fell into the shore. What? Okay. Right, I forgot. If you press B, it does that. I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice. You can't just will a coconut open, just give up and get some coconut juice from the supermarket. Ah! You just don't understand. Fine, be that way. I'm never gonna ask you your helping. Okay, yeah, you fucked up. You're not supposed to talk to him until you have the item. I didn't know it was Hajime. Hajime? <laughs> You're Hajime. Not Hajime. Not Hajime. Soda. Ignoring. Which yeah, I mentioned. I, meant, I, meant to I say cola, told to you be multiple times that you have to get the item and talk to Soda. Yeah, I didn't know that he would leave. So, uh, guys, give me a second. Hey, you want to talk again, Cola? Fuck you, Cola. We'll be right back, and we'll have some to crack open coconuts as we come back. Other way. Other way. Literally right there. That'd be yeah. Really bad. Also, yeah, you might want to buy some presents to give the little fucker. The Rocket Punch Market. Vending machine. The Mono Mall. Would you like to spend something? Yes. Let's try purchasing something. All right. So you need the sword, the replica I, sword. Yeah, I got that. All right. Purchase this item. The next one we need is not until chapter two. Is the on on? I th not the toy camera. No, it's the on on. I'll buy this then. And then just give uh, just give it like some mineral waters and ramen. 
not the buy in No, no. Because you only get one hope for every one item, so you want quantity over quality when it comes to the pet. It doesn't have anything that it specifically likes or doesn't like. It loves everything. You want to give it 10, by the way. There we go. Hi there, you little shit. Huh? Are you serious? Okay, I will also warn you, I think there's a Monokuma in a building that you probably won't go in, because there's really no reason for you to go in it. Just okay, well, that, 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 that right there is enough of a hint. Is it on this main menu, or is it in somewhere else? It's here. Okay, so the airport? I mean, you can check. Yeah. Since it's right here. The other two Hi. are in story yeah, locations, so we don't have to worry about those now. Hi, you little shit. I figured okay. you'd grab that one now, because there's no reason for you to come to the airport. So I don't know why they put it here, but whatever. Because Probably it's hidden why. for a reason? Well, you gotta, yeah, go talk to Kazumi to you. 97 steps, yes, presents. Forgot about that. Um, so I just give them yeah. 10? Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter which ten. Yeah, it's just looking these two. Look at so cute. Aww, Look at so those little happy. claps. So cute. The clap of my ass cheeks. Shut up! No, it's a child. <laughs> you know what's worse than a killer? A child. A child. <laughs> Oh, that's so full of hope, unlike me. I am. Gets a gift and then looks sad, and I'm like, no, oh, don't be sad. Take the Ramune. So this somehow helps? Yeah. It turns into different things based on how much hope or despair it has. But if it gets max despair, it dies. So one of them is literally just having nine despair or something? Eight to nine, I think. It's the same one. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Is it a Monokuma? Oh man, that's crazy. And then I'm assuming Max is like a Monami. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, coconut boy. Hello. So you have these conversations with people regardless if you have the item that you need or not. It will just go a different way if you do have it, obviously. Okay. So I've already shown the other one. What? So here's the correct route. Yeah. What are you doing? You should hurry up to the park. Hey! Damn it! Huh? For coconuts, damn it! I saw one, big ones that fell onto the shore. I had to figure out how to split them open, but once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice. 
That reminds me, I have a replica sword. We might be able to split them open if we use it. All right. Seriously? Then let's have ourselves a coconut party on the beach. What should I do? Should I agree to go to the beach with Kazuichi later? Eh, I guess I'll come along. <laughs> nice reply, my friend. That's what I like to hear. Now then, let's hurry over to the park and get on with what Byakugan has to say. Now then, I should hurry too. Alright. Yep, now we just continue Fair enough. So we'll get that scene next episode. Yes. Because, spoiler for the audience at home, we're actually nearing our time. Okay, only 27 steps. No, it's not. But it, it pooped. Oh. Good thing I checked that. There we go. Right, it pops up at that thing. You wanna look at it? I'm going to. I'm just walking over here to this bridge. Alright. Oh. So it won't poop while in this stage. I'm pretty sure. Oh. That's good to potentially know. I mean, it was a fucking cocoon. It'd be pretty hard for it to walk over to the toilet. Yeah, I'm gonna be very real with you. Uh, Tamagotchi's are bullshit. Can I interact with this without it killing me or something? Uh, I think you'd look at it. That strange Mono Beast machine is blocking the bridge. I shouldn't carelessly approach it. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna get this to happen real quick, so give me just a second, Cass. Yep, you're fine. Oh, we're also about to be level 20. There we go, level up. There we go. I was right. Yes. Hi, Usami. Look, she flies around! She's so cute! Mm -hmm. Fly, fly. I love her. Okay. That is super cute. All right. <laughs> For skinny people, you're obviously, obviously, not an awfully slow. Um, it seems you are just too fast for us. Jeez, I never expected a fat so like him to move so fast. What? You were the last so, one to arrive. What's me. supposed to be here? What? Here? Really? Such ignorance. <laughs> if you haven't noticed it yet, then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. Hmm. I wasn't there okay. before. That's crazy. What is that? Three weeks? An obviously out of place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down. What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? No! I'm pretty sure it wasn't! <laughs> I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it was actually placed it here. Monokuma must have placed this object. Oh shit, I thought, thought that was you. What no. does this countdown even mean? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. It's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on! Could it be? It better not be a bomb. Are you kidding me? Bomb? Not possible. If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. But then, why, what are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Monami? What? Wh why are you here? Um, I heard I heard talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. For some reason, I thought it was Hachime gonna say um, something. No, not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears These heroes never die. Escape. I see, you must be an undead abomination, risen from the foul steps of the netherworld by black magic. <sighs> Do you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Monami's a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? Hard cut to last game with Alter Ego. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, she'd only need like a spare or something. A spare? What a mean thing to say! Kill the spare. <laughs> However, if you arrived at the perfect time, there's something I wanted to ask you. What is the meaning behind this timer in this countdown? Answer me. Mm -hmm. Countdown? Wow. What is that? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't know what this is. Hey, you really do not know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't have a, really have a grasp on what Monokuma's up to. You don't know, even though you're Monokuma's little sister? That's wrong! I'm not my brother's little sister! She accepts the role or not, which one is Alrighty. it? Anyway, let's all do our best! Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island! I really just... Honestly, this would be fine if the belly button wasn't there. Yeah. I, I wouldn't hate it nearly as... Well, even the diaper. The diaper and the belly button are right. Fine. Just, no, please stop. If you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um, um let's... together? I said get lost. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so mean, uh, Monami. I'll fucking kick your ass. Um, perhaps you are being a little too harsh. I was starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonia, can I call you Miss Sonia? No, I insist on calling you that. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working with Monokuma. Hey, bastard. Who the fuck cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Who put that object here, and how did they do it in the f in one night? I can't imagine. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. However, that's not at all that's unimaginable. This island is full of mysteries that we can't begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought here to this mm. island? I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too, but he's right. That is a mystery. There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which is known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There's no sign of tourists or even citizens in this island. It's a fact that even possible. This, too, must be the will of causality. Whole civilizations are just into a collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. <laughs> so it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes any of the possible reformation. You just skim through words, but yeah, sure. Such a sad turn. Hmm. I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. Maybe the mana beast killed everyone on the island. What? And that's how it became uninhabited? It's certainly possible. It's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. <laughs> this mystery remains a mystery, it seems. It's like... It's like everything here is just full of mysteries. <laughs> You're right, it's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt that some no-name group is behind all this. 
What are you trying to say? So, in other words... I mean, the situation we're in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization. <laughs> At least two high school girls may be involved. An enormous organization? Hmm. Monami, Monokuma, the Mono Beasts. They're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus, they need a ton of funding. There's no way those things were just made for the hell of it. In other words... That organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Could these fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else. Somewhere safe. Where would that be? I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all this. I see. A big organization. I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. In other words... Well, let's see. There's my Togami Corporation, Sonia's novel Selic Kingdom, the Kizuryu Clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. <laughs> I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hold on, I don't care about you or the Kizuryu Clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia is a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes! Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just shut up already. What? What is happening? There's too many accidents. I need people to die. Preferably her. Just shut up already. What is happening? It, I'm just skipping it. Can't remember. Loser, are you talking about me? It's it's um it's Celeste, but not I know, Celeste. I know, but my brain just won't let me do it. It's fine. Keep going. Yeah. It's already obvious from your plane. Why? <laughs> that was pretty close. No, it was with the line. Oh. It was turning into it. Just keep going. Hold on. I don't know. It's pretty obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it must be hard to make your living in the lame ass loser industry. <laughs> Too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Biakia, were you serious just now about this being related to your family and Sonia's and such? I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with it. But you're certain we're up against a huge organization, right? However, even if such an organization exists, why would they make us do something? Go do something like this. Whatever, how long are we going to keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn there's a purpose. So, in other words... So what we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be that much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the handbook, we are free to explore this island. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's get this crap done. <laughs> uh, what are we looking for? Hey! Akane, were you even listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who our enemy are. Who our enemy Sorry. are? Who our enemy is. No problem. Oh, no matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against oh, us. They are destined to fall and turn to ash with the might of my four dark demons of destruction. Wow. Wow, hamsters came out of your scarf. <laughs> they are so adorable. What? Adorable, you say? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my my. You're pretty happy about that, huh? I agree, though. <laughs> Look at the guy actually talking to Miss Sonia all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. Sure you will, Soda. Sure you will. I don't get it, but in this tense situation, all we need to do is be a little more, a lot more cautious. We all need to be a lot more cautious. You get him relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have the confidence as an ultimate. Then what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to have? Listen. Anyway, just let me say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. 
You must do whatever you have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend, even if it seems impossible, just persevere. But most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives. This is your leader's order. Understand. <laughs> That's like totally awesome. <laughs> that right hand of yours is so plump. I've got the perfect nickname for him. Ham Hands. Ham Hands? You say. <laughs> Interesting. I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. Huh? Why aren't you getting mad? Naturally. Why would you get mad about something as petty as that? She observed me directly and thought up a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this, though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in this particular situation. He's totally monologuing right now. Such silly talk. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. Uh, I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't just some overconfident narcissistic jerk after all. Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. Alright! Then forever. Alright then. We should listen to Byakia and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not Great. the worst. Because we're not alone. We have friends we can count on to support each other. Mouse. Seriously? That sounds so lame. I knew it. I was thinking to myself just how lame I sounded for saying that. Friends, huh? Until now, I never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. I never would have thought about it in this situation. No, actually, it's more like because of this situation. Because Mieta. In the end, we never solved the mystery of this ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if we could happen a little at a time. If I'm starting to think like that, doesn't that show I'm making good progress? So, real quick, just a general idea. We're not going to do the free time event, but... Um, who do you want to hang out with? I mean, we're going to be doing the Kazuichi thing. Yeah, but then but... the free time. I mean, the best way to do that is to look at the report cards. You just have one in the room to start with. Yeah, I know. More so just looking at everyone. Um. Well, last time we immediately hung out with Mizuno. Okay. So this time we're gonna hang out with Mikan. Mikan Sumiki. Or because she seems or like Or if the girl I can make a door. suggestion. Okay. Nagito. Okay. Um listen. I was, I was trying to just, like, stick to the theme of the last time, no matter how much I want to hang out with Nagito, but I mean, if you're saying it, sure. Yes. Then we can hang out with Mikan. We can fuck Mikan until the end of days, trust me. I love I love that bitch. All my heart. He does like pretty things. Lol. So yeah, let's hang out with Nagito. Alrighty. Well, Guys, next time we're gonna get to go time. to the beach. Beach, Ninky Minjaj. We're going to the beach each. We're gonna go up and play. Alright, guys, next time we're doing just that. See you all then, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. <laughs>